Hey everybody, this is Master Griffin, griffinsmartialarts.com. You know, a lot of times martial art instructors, we talk about self-defense, you know, the physical self-defense. And certainly at our uh, martial arts school here, we teach physical self-defense every day uh, with proper technique. But today, parents, I really am speaking to you about academic self-defense. As a high school teacher, which I've been doing for nine years in the public high school system, I see a lot of high school young men and women that have difficulty reading uh, at the 10th grade level okay well that starts early you gotta read to your uh, children and you gotta get your children actively reading so I know summer is busy but turn off those computers unplug that TV you know get together as a family have family reading night okay one of my favorite children's stories is the little engine that could I think everybody's familiar with it uh, it's a great story I've been reading this to my son since he was born but when you read a, just a simple children's book like this to your child, make it an active reading experience. Don't just read it to them. You know, ask them if they can point things out in the book. You know, ask them higher order thinking questions. Like, have them predict what they think will happen to the little engine that, that's trying to uh, meet his goal here. Give them comparison questions. Ask them if they know any other vehicle that reminds them of the little engine that could or any other situation that the little engine is in. This will help them in the long run in their reading ability at an early age and into the high school years. As you know, uh, if you're in the state of Florida like we are, the FCAT exam, they need it to graduate and it's heavily influenced by reading skills. So the earlier you start, the better you're, you are. If you have any questions about reading tips, give us a call at 997-8990, 997-8990, or go to griffinsmartialarts.com and uh, get our email and shoot us an email. We'll be happy to give you some reading tips for your young readers. Uh, so everybody take a little bit of time out this summer and have a great summer reading.